Hi friends, today we're gonna to make impressionism painting. So what it is, what we're gonna do is flowers, okay? You have your piece of paper here. You need to cut out a vase. I've got some provided for you, or you can paint a vase on the bottom of your paper. It has to be the whole bottom. On the whole top, you're, gonna, you're going to press some flowers, okay? You're gonna take some of these little wax paper squares and fold them in half, and then you're gonna dab some paint with a Q-tip right on in the center of, of your um, wax paper square. Any colors you want, these are just the colors that I choose. You do what you like. Then you're gonna fold over your paper and you're going to smash and rub that paint and you're gonna get this really neat kind of design in the middle and then you're gonna stamp it right onto your paper two or three times, and every time you do it, there's gonna be a little bit less paint. So two times looks like it's gonna be good. You can stop. Okay friends, now that you've done all of that stamping, you should have lots of stamps and lots of flowers on the top half of your paper. Now you're gonna use um, a new clean Q-tip and you can add a little bit of details in any color that you want. You can use a paintbrush or you can keep using your q-tip whatever you like i'm just going to add i like those little white baby's breath flowers so i'm going to add in a little bit of these um, a little bit of white dots to make it look like there's baby's breath in my little um, purple flowers maybe my flowers are lilacs or maybe they're um well what other kind of purple flower is there well anyway so now we have our little details you can add in some maybe leaves or stems, um, whatever details you want. So your painting is unique to you. And that's gonna be just about your finished product. You can make a little design on your vase. I think I'll do a little heart on the bottom of mine. Whatever you want, whatever you like. All right, and that is how you do an Impressionism painting. It's called Impressionism because it is um, an impression of a moment in time. 